Hello, good morning and uh, glad to have you here, Asma. Thank you so much for being a buddy and you're going to share your safe scrap and so journey with your father. So let's start. So firstly, I'd like to thank you, Miss, for giving me this opportunity to develop such new skills. And firstly, what we did, how I started the journey, it was all thanks to Valga. She introduced me to this um, area, safe scrap and so through like online social media platforms. And here, what we, our aim is to take the fabric cloth, cloth from the tailors. When they stitch due to fast fashion, they have lots of excess cloth, which is meant to go to the landfill and it gets burned. And not many people are aware that clothes are one of the materials that are in the landfill. Usually people think of glass and uh, plastic, but clothes um, is not really often considered into account. So we take those scraps from the um, tailors and we stitch them and use them to make items such as the blanket, pillows, and bags. So the blanket, it's stitched out of like various different materials if you want to feel it. The size is always meant to be enough to cover one adult and it's in two layers so you have two different layers and at the end of every one of the products we put the SSS logo save scrap and sew and usually these products are sent to people in need and how we decide that is if there is like any natural disaster and any place that is heavily affected by droughts floods or anything and people who need, really need that the most and just to let you know, we never sell any of the products and we don't record any of the products because that is not our aim. And our purpose is to help communities not join into it for ourselves. Secondly, we have the thumb rule. And usually the thumb rule is always for like twice the size. So if you have like a dress you want to make and it's to say the knees, you'll always have twice the size of it. Another product that we make is the pillows. And if you want to feel it, the stuffing is the scrap material from um, the dresses that you use, or the scrap. This, <laughs> yeah, we give it to workers in construction. They have long days, and during yeah. their breaks, instead of resting their head on the bricks, they would have more com comfortable items, like pillows, they can have it. Next, I want to talk to you about this. This is a sample given to the retail workers and like it's a show piece that is usually wasted and this is so many get sent down for like new collections summer sale winter sale so is this sent to the tailors uh, no the no, retail the retailers and what do they do with it nothing they throw it away you can't you can't use this they just choose which colors and which sizes and then they just trash, just trash it. it yes yeah. and every season every retailer does this the bag which always contains a pocket and it has a lining inside. Nice Could make so much out of the waste cloth, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So we've actually saved more than ten tons of fabric scrap from the landfill in the last few years. And uh, the bags are stitched by adult buddies and uh, so these buddies they learn how to stitch, basic sewing they know. And who knows who's going to become a fashion designer or... <laughs> and we always make products that can be used. We never stitch dresses because always when you create dresses, there will be extra scrap. With this, you can utilize all of the scraps, turn it into objects and products that you can use. So we never make dresses. We always make you use the both objects. Thank you very much, uh, Asma. Tell me... What was the one thing which you would like to share with any future buddies who are going to come? If somebody asks you, what did you do in Save Scrap? And so what's the one thing which you will share with them? Well, I had lots of highlights, honestly. But the one thing is that a little bit of awareness, a little bit of that thought to save the planet. I mean, as you always say, whose earth is it anyways? A little thought can make a whole lot of difference. So just please be aware and be cautious about what you do. Great. So, as a parent, I would like to ask you: Did you see any changes in uh, asthma? We have always been drenched into the sports. <laughs> we, we have too much into the sports of uh, asthma, and she 
absolutely had no time but we tried to manage the schedule and then we saw how how productive it was and you know uh, our interest was very high she comes back and she has already done some kind of a sorting in her home itself for giving it to the charity as well so right. this was not happening before very good yeah, very sure. nice thank you so much for being a buddy asma it's been a pleasure working with you and uh, you've been a very sincere uh, uh, person very uh, intent on what you're doing which is very important so thank you very much all right thank you